Ryan with the Miss Talk Geek here, and uh, the reason for the hushed tone is because it's about six o'clock in the morning, and I'm in a campground, you know, I'm not too far from my home, um, but uh, far enough <laughs> because it's definitely not home. Um, it's uh, the middle of March, and uh, it's cold. Now, uh, in Washington, um, it's cold feels colder to me because when I was living in Nevada or even Southern California, when it was cold, it wasn't that bad because the humidity was really low. But here the humidity is fairly high kind of all the time. And so the, the cold just sucks the heat right out of you. So I'm in the Gazelle T4 that I posted a video about. Um, a few couple, well, I think just yesterday or the day before, and uh, depends on when I post this. <laughs> and uh, it, basically, the gazelle came in on a, on a Thursday. I went camping on Friday, and it's currently Saturday morning. And uh, this tent is amazing. <laughs> it's huge. I love it. It's awesome. Uh, but it it is not home in the sense. You know, it doesn't have a, a heater. Well, it didn't. Uh, so I went and bought this thing. And that is the uh, Mr. Buddy heater. It's I, not the cheapest model. It's like 70 some dollars, depending on where you buy it. Um, I, I got the last one at Walmart because <laughs> uh, I needed it in a hurry because I decided to go camping without really, because I, I could have ordered one on Amazon. But um, I bought this one at Walmart. It's the same, same price. And uh, my daughter picked it up for me when she was out shopping. And uh, she also picked me up some extra propane bottles, which I'm really grateful for because I didn't think I would need as many as I did. But the problem is that I have not kept this thing going all night about, I don't know, 2 in the morning or something. Uh, uh, the propane ran out. I had had a couple of bottles that were half spent. And uh, they went pretty quickly. And so I, I was too uh, tired and lazy to get up and go to my truck and grab more propane. And it's just those little one-pound bottles. And uh, it got really cold in here. I had this thing going for about five minutes. And already it's noticeably a lot warmer in here. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to share with you that this stuff is the first time I've ever bought real camping equipment. Like, the you know. It wasn't the cheapy cheap stuff it's worth it like genuinely worth it um so if you i'm not, I'm not one to advocate spending hundreds of dollars on anything but man this this tent's amazing just amazing anyway i will post more and i will uh i will uh well i'll i'll be videoing just a little bit more on this trip, not doing a whole lot because I'm in a campground with a bunch of people. In fact, last night uh, I um, I very I very nearly just picked up and left about 10 o'clock last night because uh, about actually closer to 11 o'clock last night because I had some neighbors who uh, were blasting music and drunk talking real loud and singing along with the music. And finally, I determined that uh, I had every bit of a right to be here as they did. If not, if not more so, based on the fact that I wasn't being a total jerk to my neighbors. And so I decided to, uh, as a matter of principle, to uh, outlast them. And I did. 11.50, finally I hear one guy say to the other one, Well, I gotta, I'm, getting, I'm getting tired, I gotta go to sleep or I'll be wake, wake up with a, a really bad hangover. Yeah, you think? Anyway, um, so... I was glad to have outlasted them because it's going to be a gorgeous morning, but it is cold. So I'm going to probably sleep for a few more hours and then uh, make some breakfast and and uh, maybe I'll bring you along. <laughs> so, alright. And as a side note, this is the last time, the last time, I ever camp in a campground during the weekend. If I'm going to camp in a campground again, which I, I'm sure I will, it'll be during the week. But on the weekends, uh, <laughs> uh, I'll be going out to the wilderness somewhere. <laughs> so this is just a shakedown run. 
Uh, so I'm only not even like I'm not even half an hour from my house. Um, this is not Porter Creek where I went to before. This is a a place called Lake Sylvia. Anyway, but yeah, uh, I will come here again. It's beautiful, uh, just beautiful. In fact, I'll post a, a picture of the sunset from last night, and uh, you'll see that here. Uh, well, here I'll show it to you right now. And yeah, so it's just gorgeous, and uh, I love it. I love coming here to take walks and go for a short hike. Um, but uh, camping in the weekend <laughs> with uh, all the people from uh, Seattle who want to come out here to party—not my, not my thing. <laughs> so at least they had a good taste in music. I'll say that. But uh, I think that their music was going from about 3 p.m. to almost midnight loud yeah all right day two of the camp here and uh, uh you might notice i'm in a different spot this is the setup is not the same that i had previously um and that's because last night my neighbors were playing music up until about 11 for 11 50 at night when they finally one told the other he just had to go to bed um so uh they uh finally shut down around that time uh, but I knew that, and, and this morning I talked to them, and, and they said they'd shut her down, or at least quiet down around 10, but, you know, why, why, uh, why do it another night? Plus, my next-door neighbor had an RV and was running a uh, generator all morning. <laughs> and, you know, they, had, they were smart, though. They, they had an old TV box, you know, big and flat, and they put that in front of the, t the generator so they couldn't hear it. But they didn't put nothing behind the generator so that I wouldn't hear it. <laughs> um... So they were, they were at least partly thoughtful, um, but really everybody has the right to to camp how they want. So I thought it'd be better if I just moved. There's the campground's not that full, and so probably about a third full, half full maybe. And so I had plenty of uh, other camp camp spots available, so I just picked up and moved. I uh, just kind of broke down my tent, didn't even put it in its bag, just threw it in the back of the truck and pull, pulled on over here. Um, didn't take very long to get it moved. Now you're here. What you're hearing in the background here is my uh, coffee. I'm doing the instant coffee uh, using Trader Joe's cold brew. And uh, let me show it to you here. It'll probably be backwards on the video, but uh, it's this stuff, Trader Joe's cold brew, and it's pretty good. And so um, I'm not really uh, pretentious about my coffee. I just like it, and it's pretty cold today. So this is probably cup number four. <laughs> So my water is boiling, so I'm going to make this quick, but did get a fire going finally, and uh, only because of that stuff right there. So got some uh, lighter fluid because this wood was wet, so I didn't realize that. I'm not, it's been a while since I've dealt with anything wood, well, you know, wood, wet or dry wood. So it was kind of wet. It's smoldering pretty good now. We'll, we'll fix that. Oh, yeah, it's just smoldering. I'm going to go throw some flame on it. Anyway, uh, so everything's working really good. This buddy heater, uh, buddy heater is amazing. Uh, get one. <laughs> if you do any camping or anything like that, get one. So uh, thanks for watching. I'm probably going to wrap it up here and maybe uh, let me do a, a, another video tomorrow, but I'll try to share some pictures as well at the end here. So thanks for watching. So we're back. Yeah, you notice we're not at the campground. I've got a good reason why I'm not camping anymore. But that's not the only reason. Uh, so it's now Monday, and uh, uh, you'll see the, the tent is set up again in my yard. Uh, it just barely fits between the two buildings here. But um, the funny thing happens at about 6.30 or so, Saturday evening, and I got a call from my daughter. And um, the computer that we use to do our budgeting and have some of our financial stuff on it. It was acting really strange. Uh, team viewer had popped up. Uh, it was making noises. Uh, the background changed on the computer. And I thought for sure that somebody had broken into our team viewer account and had re gained remote access uh, of this computer. And so uh, the champion of the night was this because I had camp packed up. I, I doused my fire. It's only about half an hour from home, but uh, not even that. I was home within an hour. This thing, I just got all my stuff out of it, 
folded it up, threw it in the back of the truck. Um, it took a fly off of it, threw it in the back of the truck. Uh, everything else just kind of haphazardly threw it in the back of the truck. Didn't worry about packing it, just got it in there. And I got home, and uh, I had my daughter turn the computer off. And uh, when I turned it back on, uh, I actually had her disconnected from the Wi-Fi as well. When I turned it back on, uh, it was disconnected from the Wi-Fi still. The background had changed to a ham radio background, which was pretty strange. A screenshot or an image from uh, the Keys SDR group back in October or something. That it was on the, just a file on the desktop. And uh, so I decided to open up the TeamViewer connection logs. And when I did, it just acted really weird. Um, you know, when you right click on, on something, and you, there's often a, a list of options to right click, you know, open as or open with or properties, all that stuff. And if you press the arrow button on your keyboard, it'll scroll through each of those things. And it'll, it'll highlight. Well, it was just sitting there going over and over and over again, like somebody's holding down a button. And it was just glitching all over the place. Mind you, with nobody connected, no, just me, not even on the internet. And I lift the keyboard and I press the escape key and it all stopped. And then the keyboard never worked again after that. So the conclusion that we came to was the cat had jumped up on the desk and uh, had stepped on the keyboard, started it glitching, and then the keyboard, being an older keyboard, uh, had died. Sorry for the wobbliness. My phone's uh, on a mount and it's wobbling because of the wind. Anyway, so there was no hack. There was no compromise. Uh, our security was intact. Uh, still changed a few, a few important passwords anyway. Uh, just because it made me feel better. <laughs> but I got hacked by my cat. <laughs> and a bad keyboard. Um, I could not have known that unless I'd come home. And I certainly would not have slept well. Uh, but I did sleep well the night before uh, because of my buddy heater. The other thing that was really made my life good is this thing. Now, uh, this is a car starter, but it's got a USB port on the front, and it's also got a little light on it, a uh, little LED light on it. Um, so I use this to charge up my, my phone and my tablet while I was out, uh, and it charged them both up a couple of times until there's plenty of juice left if I had a flat battery or something. But um, yeah, the equipment that I had worked well. Uh, the cot that I bought at Costco worked well. Now, one thing I wanted to show you about this tent that is so cool. And let me, let me pick up the camera and show you. All right, one thing about this tent that is so cool is that over there, right, right there in this corner, I'm not going to step into it because I just cleaned it. Um, the, the tub, the bottom, is disconnected from the outside. And... When I went to go sweep it out, I just opened up that seam over there in that corner on that side. Just opened that up completely, and it's, just, it's all just Velcro. And I just opened it up and swept it out. And there's still a little bit in there, and I'm not going to try to get every little crumb or every little uh, pebble out or whatever. But um, I just want to make sure it was dry because the condensation was pretty, uh, uh, pretty intense because of the heater. So I want to make sure it was dry, and I want to make sure that it was rel you know, relatively clean before I put it away. So that's my report on the Gazelle T4 and this little camping trip. Oh, and there is one more thing. I took this little guy with me. And if you want to know how that went, check out the blog post linked below. So thanks for watching and 73. We'll see you next time.